Hi everyone, welcome back to Sophisticated K. Today I'm going to briefly show you a recipe that I do in my crock pot. Now the crock pot is so beneficial. I don't have to stand in the kitchen for hours, tossing and turning the food, turning up the temperature up and down. I can put everything in, leave it and go. And today I have a photo shoot because I'm a photographer. So I can leave this food cooking for a couple of hours, go do my photo shoot and come back. So, what I'm doing today is stew peas. And I normally have stew peas with rice, vegetables, fish. And so I'll show you what I put in already. I'm halfway through. And then I'm also going to add uh, peppers, onion, garlic, bay leaves, oil, and seasoning. At the moment I have broccoli, sweet corn, and kidney beans all in here and the temperature is heating up it's on high and once I put everything else in I can put the lid on and go about my business and then the peppers Right, and I told you about bay leaves in my Caribbean video, and here they are. These ones are huge, and they go straight in as well. These are very big, but they are amazing. And then I will just give it a good stir. I'm going to put the seasonings in now, and then all I'd have to add is the garlic. So that was soy sauce and when you buy soy sauce make sure you get naturally brewed. I'm also going to use a bit of adobo. Not too much because it can be a bit salty and some oregano. Always have to have herbs. Black pepper of course. Not too much because I don't like too much pepper and spice. Might be hard to believe, but I don't. And then just a little bit of garlic powder because I'm going to add garlic. And last but not least, this is my favourite combo season. It is amazing. And then just stir that again. And while I chop up the garlic, I'll put the lid on. Alright, so my garlic is in. And the good thing about stew peas is that you can put absolutely anything in there. You can put chicken, turkey, and whatever else. But I'm about to put some shrimp in there, prawns, for those of you that call it prawns. And I'm just going to cut a few up, well, in half, and then put them in. And once this is done, I can just go and prepare my camera equipment. I will definitely put the link for my photography in the link in the description box, sorry, below the video so you can check that out. Alright, now this is still heating up, but when it gets to the, its desired temperature, it will start cooking and I don't have to worry about it. It's definitely something worth investing in. I was lucky, I got it for a Christmas present. Alright, so when that is done, I will definitely show you the finished product. And by all means, try it yourself. Add things that you like and... Um, just make the most of it. Experiment. 
it's so healthy. I will put my recipe in the description box below the video, so definitely check that out. And once again, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like, share and comment. Let me know what you think. And last but not least, have a good day wherever you are. Alright, so it is 7 o'clock. I just walked back in the house after my photo shoot and I was hit in the face with the most amazing smell. The photo shoot was fantastic by the way, thanks for asking. And so I rushed into the kitchen to come and check the slow cooker and it has done an amazing job. Now let's just have a look. This is going to be a really good dinner. All I have to do now is cook some rice. I haven't even got to have vegetables on the side because this is quite everything I need. So anyway, I will definitely put the recipe in the description box below the video, so check it out. And um, thanks again for watching. Have a good day.